Hello, Roger Bisbee here from the Skill Builder channel and we're getting loads and loads of emails from people who have got damp problems. They're just flooding in. And the vast majority of them, when I look at their videos and their photographs, are to do with condensation. So the first thing I ask them when they tell me that they've got all these damp problems is, what are your humidity levels like? And of course they don't know. And in some cases, the landlords or the householders themselves have spent a huge amount of money having damp proof courses done, having all kinds of other stuff done that's totally unnecessary to try and cure the damp problems and they've still got those damp problems. So what I'm saying to you is spend five pounds, get yourself a little humidity sensor, and then you can walk around the house, you can check the humidity levels. And if you've got much above 60% relative humidity in your rooms, then you probably need to do something about that. And what you can do is simply to buy yourself a dehumidifier, and that way you'll be able to go from room to room, just checking the humidity levels, checking that everything's okay, and then you'll know what you're doing. But as it stands, if you don't know those humidity levels, then you're working blind. This one is from Amazon. It costs just under five quid. It's saying that it's 49% humidity in this room. It's 19 and a half degrees, which is plenty for day-to-day -day living before you sit down in the evening. So as I move to another room, let's move into this room, which is the living room. So we'll just leave it for a few seconds. So it's now saying 47 in this room. That's a very low relative humidity at 19 and a half degrees. We're still showing the same temperature, but a lower humidity. And as I move into this room, which we, to be honest, rarely use, 45% relative humidity, 19 degrees. Now, we don't heat this room an awful lot, but it has got sash windows. There is a bit of a draft coming through those sometimes, but as you can see around this bay window, there is zero trace of any kind of damp or mold. There's no trace of damp or mold on the windows themselves. And that little bit of ventilation, everybody's got double glazing these days. And these are single glazed windows because um, this is in keeping with the character of the property, really speaking. Thick curtains, drawn round at night. Absolutely no problem at all. So I'm Roger Bisbee and that's my little message for the day. Check your humidity levels and if they're higher than 60, 65, you need to do something about reducing them. And after that, if you've still got damp, then that's the time to start spending the big money.